have a seat, my girl. It is time for you to tell us how you got 300 subscribers with a slime and arts and crafts channel. But guess what else I want you to tell us? What? How are you making $200 a week as a 12 year old? So how does a kid who only has 300 subscribers on YouTube make 200 bucks a week selling slime? Hey there, I'm Tracy Rose and in today's video I'm going to interview that girl because she's my daughter. I have actually some of her slime here to show you but what I really want to get into is I'm going to share with you and ask her how she got her first 300 subscribers. Now obviously she's not monetized yet on YouTube because you need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in the previous 12 months. So she's doesn't quite have that but that's okay because what I want to share with you in this video is that you don't actually need that many subscribers to make money from a YouTube channel. So if you don't know much about YouTube and how it is actually monetized or how you earn money from it basically when you hit 1,000 subscribers and you have 4,000 watch hours over all your videos in the last 12 months YouTube will allow you to become part of their partner program and that basically means that you get just over half of the revenue from advertisers who want to advertise on your particular videos there are some things you have to meet on the youtube platform before they will allow you to actually earn money from those videos the other way that you can earn money from youtube is by recommending things and saying those sorts of things in your videos and if you get enough views and you're in front of the right people those people will often sign up to your affiliate products maybe that you've linked in the description of your video or they'll reach out to you via uh, links to maybe your Instagram or Facebook page or something like that or they can contact you maybe on your website where they will want to hire you and so that's what's happened to Honey over time is that lots more people have watched her videos over time, shared it with other people, she's kind of gotten to be known as this little slime you know girl does slime stuff and that's how she gets recommended to either do market events be a vendor at slime conventions and to do parties and often we share videos on other platforms and social media and we convert those videos to instagram videos and things like that but it all roads lead back to her youtube channel and that is how she's been earning money because everything revolves around this pillar content which is her youtube channel honey Come be in the video! Hello! What are you actually doing? So I am filming a video on my 300 subscribers going into all my old YouTube videos. How about you come sit with me for a little bit? Why have we got the dog down here as well? Does everybody want to be in the same space? It's very squishy guys. So what's your channel all about honey? My life, slime and craft. So you're basically doing a channel about your passions, right? Yeah. I got into slime because of my mom's friend Kat. Her boyfriend has a daughter named Ali and she started doing slime, selling it and stuff on Instagram and that like got me the idea of doing it. And then you sold slime at markets, but that was kind of hard, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm never doing markets again. <laughs> What's your favorite type of slime? I like when it's like thick slime and snow fizz slime. Okay, so you start doing videos on certain slime topics and stuff like that. What's one of your most popular videos at the moment? Probably Kmart Slime Mixer, the Scoopy Store Review, and then the Colored Foam Ball. Hi guys, it's Honey. Today I'm going to be using this mixer to make Slime. You look how cute you are. Tell me some of the things that maybe I taught you or that even you figured out how to get these 300 subscribers on your channel. What did you do? Subscribers. I never used to plan out videos, but now ongoing, I'm going to get advice from my mom and plan out videos. Because you have some videos on your channel that didn't do so well and then you have other videos that have a couple of thousand views. Now which ones are the ones mum helped you plan? Well obviously this one that came out so I mixed up. So the ones that got more views are the ones that mum helped you with? So I want to take this as a teachable moment right here. I never told Honey what to do. I never told her she had to do videos. I never told her she had to do specific videos. That's what I, true. I didn't, right? I gave her guidelines and said, hey, I know you want to do slime videos. These are the types of videos that people are searching for and these are the topics. Are any of these topics of interest to you? Would you like to do any of these? And she was like, yeah. 
there's a slime store in Sydney called Scoopy. We love the store. And I realized that no one had done really any Scoopy slime reviews or store reviews or store visits or anything like that. So we actually went, are you yawning? Is it that boring? Okay, note to self, make video more interesting. So I've talked to you before about the importance of doing like keyword research and actually doing videos on what people are searching for. So we kind of figured out people were actually searching for the slime shop Scoopy, right? Oh, yes. So we knew to do a video on that. And that is a big key. So when you know what people are searching for, go do videos on that topic. Well, did we also know there was people searching for what other types of words? Slime supplies? Yeah. There was slime supplies supplies but we knew that there was nobody else that had done like slime supplies Australia oh yeah because I did a video on that yeah you did and that one went pretty well too hi it's Honey and today we are going to be shopping for slime supplies I think I should buy this for a slime video I'm gonna do I could do testing on my college oh Elsa can I have the magic powers I actually got 1159 views Pretty good. What happened when you decided to not follow mum's advice and go on trends or do any videos on keywords that you knew people were searching for? Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got this. But it's actually okay because I know that you're a kid and you're just trolling. So this is not to show what Honey did wrong or to tell her even that she did anything wrong because she's 12 and she should have creative control over what she's doing while she's learning, correct? Yes. So you have actually had your channel for a while. Why do you think you don't have more subscribers than 300? Probably because I didn't exactly do things on trends. What, what do you think the other thing is that perhaps you could have done better if you're really trying to get to like your first thousand subscribers? Used more keywords and actually upload more regularly. Yeah, so I think you went through a stage where we we're trying to do it weekly, but that was kind of hard, right? Yeah. Because you've only just learned to edit your own videos now. In the beginning, I was filming Honey's videos and I was also editing them. Plus, I was managing a team of my own with my own work and that was a lot. So, this is the best thing that I've ever done is teach my kid how to edit on Final Cut Pro. To us, it's actually not that hard. It's like you just press like Command B to like split it in half and then do it again and then you can delete the middle part now. This is the technology generation who literally can edit a video from like when they're a toddler, right? It's actually right? quite easy. Well, once you learn. Okay, let's go on to the how you're earning a couple of hundred bucks per week. Oh, well, per week that you work. So each time you work, you actually now do what? Selling slime. We sell slime, which actually we've got to go do a delivery today. I've made forty-eight dollars today. How cool is that? Fine again. <laughs> I think Yay. that's people digging for their slimes. What else do you do to earn the big bucks, honey, for a twelve-year-old? I'm also doing slime parties now, which is super fun, and the kids love it. I'm having a really great time giving them the scents, the colors, and letting them choose out their little foam balls or little sprinkles and stuff. It's really fun, even for me. So let me put a couple of pictures here of Honey doing the slime party. You did a really great job. I'm just the assistant. So some of the money that Honey actually makes goes to her supplies because she uses really good supplies, but also she puts towards her cheer sport. So cheer in Australia, I don't know about anywhere else, but it costs a bloody fortune. Yeah. <laughs> and so to do that, I have said she has to put some of her money towards her cheer. All right, honey, any other tips that you would like to give us on how to build our YouTube channels? One thing that is important is keep the viewer interested in the video. So like, don't make it boring for them, make it fun and exciting for you and them so they'll continue watching your video. So always work on keeping a certain rhythm, like maybe you'll post once a month or once a week or something like A schedule? Yeah. Okay. Schedule, <laughs> rhythm. Yeah, that's Same good. Same thing in my brain. Okay. Try and find them keywords for videos because that can always get you a lot of viewers. One thing about YouTube is you shouldn't just do it for the money because that's not what the world of YouTube is about. The world of YouTube is having fun making the videos, having fun doing something in the video and that's what makes you happy. Even when I started filming like my first ever video, I didn't even know you could earn money off YouTube. What's all this stuff? This is all kind of craft I do as well for slime and stuff. So these are like... Oh. 
That's okay. Femur slices, and I think I actually have to cut them a little bit thinner. You're gonna do a video on how you actually made those? Yeah, and I'll make them thinner this time. One of the things that I really want to allow Honey to do with her channel, obviously with my parental guidance, <laughs> is for her to just be creative, allow her to learn and explore and have a great time doing it. You know, YouTube is supposed to be fun. Okay, so I really appreciate you, honey. This is so cute. You were making up some ones with little Easter eggs in them. So see how cute these little slimies are? And then you get to add in these little mix-ins. How cute is that? And then normally she's got a label on the top as well. Yeah. So thank you, honey, for this enlightening conversation about getting your first 300 subscribers on a slime channel. How cute is that? So the way that she actually makes money, even though she's not monetized on YouTube yet, is because selling the slime and also doing the slime parties. So the slime parties you can charge a bit more for, and she spends two hours teaching kids how to make slime. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. And then they get to take slimes home, and the parents love it because we literally do all the work. Well, I'm the assistant, aren't I, honey? Honey kind of runs the show. So you can do exactly the same. I did it with my own channel before I was even monetized. I shared in my videos that I did coaching on the topic that I was teaching. I still do that now to this day with this niche. So you can hire me. I can do things like review your channel. I coach people how to do YouTube. I set up their channels. We also have packages where we edit people's videos and do all of the uploading and everything for them as well. So that's something that I do. If that's something that you feel like you need help with, reach out to me. But but yeah, there's lots of ways to monetize YouTube with only a few hundred subscribers. All right, so let's go do your little delivery of slimes and keep growing that slime empire, honey. <laughs> this video is gonna take a long time with kids in it. Something so dramatic. <laughs> Can you sit down, please? What are you doing to my video? <laughs> okay, squish right up. Okay, oh, bloody hell. Phone rings while doing video. <laughs> Don't add that in.